Today at Cougar House Garage, Chase and I are working on the Chevrolet Silverado, but we got, in our last episode, we got the driver's side coilover tower done. So today we're going to go ahead and design up in the engineering PC the pieces that we need for the passenger side Cougar House Fab coilover tower, and then we'll get those cut out on the uh, Bailey plasma table, and then we'll start putting them together, test fit them, and we're going to bring you guys through the whole process with, with us before we fully weld them together, put them on the frame, and install the coilovers. So, let's get started today, guys. I'm excited. Hey guys, good morning. Back at it this morning. Yesterday we cut out um, our parts for the passenger side coilover tower. And then today we pulled off the frame bridge so we can prep it for fully welding onto the frame. Gotta get it frame prepped a little and then we'll weld it on and then we will weld the coilover mount on after that's on because the way the uniquely shaped side of this frame is like this curve in it the passenger side of the frame bridge looks a little different while it's frame side mount than the driver side one so we'll get that weld it on and then we'll weld its coilover tower on over it because it's the way we designed this up so let's go ahead and get this frame bridge welded on let's do it guys now that we've got the shock mount pieces that go inside the coilover tower cut out well, well we got one side chase is gonna is gonna go ahead and fully weld up some parts here he's gonna do all right in here and then he's got to pop this side off 
so we can weld the cool. top side of the shock mount because you know the gun won't fit in there and then you know the top one gets fully welded on the outside so yeah. we're, we're looking pretty good here now let's go ahead and fully weld up those parts and then we can move out to cutting out the other shock tab for the coil over while that's uh, cooling down
guys, that completes the passenger side Cougar House Fab coilover tower for, for the Chevrolet. We got it fully welded together, and then um, also we you know pulled the uh, frame bridge off so we could tack it to it while we're welding it together so it wouldn't move or anything, right? So now that we got the frame bridge and everything ready and prepped, we got the driver's side sh uh, shock tower read, re ready to be welded onto. We're going to go ahead and weld the driver's side shock tower on tomorrow, and then we'll put the frame bridge on, we'll weld it on, and then we'll put the passenger side coilover tower on after that, and then fully weld it up. We, d we didn't get as far as we wanted to tonight. We wanted to be able to do that tonight and then mount the coilovers and then we'd move on to the Cougar House Fab track bars tomorrow. But we just ran out of steam. It's the end of the day. It's like 7.30. We're just tired. So we're going to start up fresh in the morning. So Chase is just fresh and ready and full of en energy, ready to go ahead and do some nice welds. So he's not tired while welding, right? So we'll get that fully welded up then and mount the coilovers and stuff. And then in the episode after that, we'll move on to the Cougar House Fab track bar kit for it. So... Alright guys, thanks for watching today. Thanks for your constant support as always. Remember to hit the bell up there when you guys subscribe so that way every time I upload you guys can know, hey, a live episode of Cougar House Garage is up. And um, if you guys are interested in a Cougar House Fab 4-link kit for your Ford, Dodge, or Chevy, hit us up. We can get you guys hooked up with one. And if you guys like what we do, you like Cougar House Garage, check us out at CougarHouseGarage.com. Check us out at Facebook, forward slash Cougar House Garage. And keep up with all the crazy builds on Instagram, guys. We are Cougar House Garage there. See you tomorrow.